What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to show you how to solder a 2 inch copper joint. Just like my other soldering videos, I'll be giving you a step by step breakdown and show you the correct technique to get a properly soldered joint. And if you have any questions at the end, feel free to comment below. This video will cover the tools and materials, the preparation, the soldering process and finalizing the joint. I'll also show you the results at the end that prove that the joint was soldered properly using this method by cutting it in four and showing you that the solder did indeed entirely fill the joint. If you're just interested in seeing the soldering process, skip here. So let's get started. Soldering bigger diameter pipes requires a good torch. Using a normal propane torch that you would use for half inch or three quarter inch will do the job but it'll take a lot more time and I don't suggest doing it this way. I personally do a lot of brazing, soldering and cutting so I have an oxyacetylene setup, but just a B-tank with acetylene will do. The solder I'm using is just normal 95.5 solder. For flux, I'm using tinning flux over normal flux. If you don't know what tinning flux is, Tinning flux contains solder powder in it which gives you a little more assurance when soldering bigger fittings like this. Here's a comparison between both the normal flux on the left and tinning flux on the right. When you heat normal flux, it just cleans the copper, but with tinning flux, it'll tin the joint, hence why it's called tinning flux. To clean the pipes and fittings, I prefer using these coarse abrasive pads. I find it easier on the hands and wrists. And that's it for the tools and materials. So to prepare the joint, the first thing I do is check if the pipe is cut straight. You want to have full penetration on any soldered joints to minimize your chance of having a leak. If it wasn't cut square, I use a grinder with a grinding disc and not a cutting disc to get it square. It only takes about one minute to get it done, but before? Make sure to put on your safety glasses not to get anything in your eyes. And here's what it should look like. Once you're sure that the pipe was cut straight, you want to deburr the inside of the pipe. I won't go into details about deburring, but if you're interested in knowing why it's important, just watch this video right here. Then, go ahead and thoroughly clean your pipes and fittings. Normally, I use the green ones but for bigger diameter piping, I tend to use the red ones because they're coarser and it just makes the task easier on the wrists and hands. This is what both the pipes and fittings should look like. There should be no pits or spots left before assembly. Once it's been mechanically cleaned, wipe away any dust or dirt before fluxing using a clean rag. I personally don't like using a whole lot of flux. I'm more an advocate of if it's applied thoroughly around the pipe, then it's all good. Any excess will either drip out or be pushed inside the fitting which is not wanted. Also, you want to wipe off any excess flux so it doesn't go all over the place. Alright, on to soldering now. Let me start by explaining why I use the method I use when soldering 2 inch piping. I found that heating the bottom half and then finishing by the top half gives me the best results. Let me explain. By soldering the bottom portion first, it gives the solder on top a place to sit on to ensure it stays inside the joint. So the order in which I solder is the following. Starting with the two bottom halves and finishing with the two top halves. Also, the way I place my torch. You want to place your torch with the hottest part closest to the rear of the cup. Here's why. The solder needs enough heat to travel from the front of the joint to the back. If you do the opposite and place the flame in the front of the cup, the solder might not have enough heat to reach the back, leaving you with an incomplete joint that might leak, which is why it's crucial to have the hottest part of the flame at the rear. And finally, where I apply the solder. I tend to apply my solder in the back of the flame like this. This way I'm sure that the joint is hot enough to accept it. Here's all of the goodness in real time.
All right, good job. So as you can see, it gives the joint a nice clean look to it with no blobs of solder. But most importantly is how well the joint was covered inside. So let's open it up and inspect our work. As we could see, the solder reached the back of the joint around the whole joint, which is exactly what you want. But did it cover the whole entire joint? Let's open them up and check. And it did in fact cover the whole joint. Now, a perfect joint doesn't exist and we could see it right here. There are some voids but nothing major that would cause a leak. And that is how to solder a 2 inch copper joint. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it and subscribe for more cool upcoming videos. And until the next one, thanks for watching.